We know about you. Don't buy shoes unless the pop you put a hole. Welcome to this video. So today I want to give you guys a quick rundown of what I'm going to be doing today. So today me and Caleb are going to be doing a seafoam. Uh, we're going to be putting seafoam inside the 2008 Audi A4 we have. So to give you a quick rundown of what seafoam does, seafoam actually uh, clears out all carbon deposits in, within the car. So the results of that, you'll see a big puff of white smoke if, you, if it has carbon deposits in, in your exhaust pipes. And once all cleaned out, all the white smoke will go away. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there's three ways of putting steam pump within the car. One is through the gas tank. Second is through your oil, the, the little oil part where you fill up your oil for your engine. And the third is in a uh, vacuum line. We're going to be showing that to you guys today. So stay tuned and we'll uh, see you soon. Guys, so today are gonna sea foam my Audi A4 and pretty much what I've been reading on a lot of the different forums is that we actually want to use um, most people want to use about two cans instead of just one can and splitting it three ways um, between your gas tank your oil and your vacuum hose um, to get best effects so I'm actually gonna go ahead and use two full cans today on this one we're gonna do one full can to the, the gas tank and then what we're gonna do is put half a tank or half a can directly into the oil um, and then we're also going to take the other half and put it into the vacuum hose so the reason why we're putting a funnel inside the gas tank is because the gas tank is actually has like a little a blocker there so we're putting it through a funnel so that way it can open it up uh, you can get this stuff at walmart you can get it at AutoZone. it's a little cheaper at walmart i think like seven dollars a can Make sure you do this when you're at about a quarter or less tank of gas. Sorry for all the windless guys, it is really windy outside. Texas weather. And also to keep in mind is after doing a seafoam on a car, you do want to do an oil change within the next 500 to 1000 miles. The reason why it is going to be thinning the engine oil. So uh, a lot. It's best to do an oil change after that. All right, we're all set there. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put half of it between in the engine oil, and then the other half in the vacuum line. So this is a 2008 Audi A4. So the vacuum line is right here. So it was. It's it's connected like this. Let me show you. Like this was right over here, just like that, and then we pull this this part off with the plier and then we're gonna we're gonna put the sea foam into like a plastic cup so that way we can feed it in bottoms up drink up pinky up you gotta be fancy right. now to get half of this in here oh. <laughs> don't mess up Let's use this. yeah but I don't know uh, yeah just uh, hold it Does it feel half? I'm about there. Cool. Should be good. Another thing that you guys can try to do is if you can put it into like a clear bottle, that way that way you can actually see it, which if it's actually half or not. But putting too much into it is not gonna harm it. No, especially if we're gonna do an oil change. Sweet. A little bit. The way this is going is, let me show you over here. We're like slowly feeding it. Hold on.
Tell me when. Alright, go ahead and turn it off. Alright, I'll turn off the car. Cool. Now, all we'll do will just reconnect. So what we have to do, we have to let the car sit now for 15 minutes. After, now what we're going to do, we're just going to reconnect the clamp from here to here. Fairly simple. Let that run for, let it sit for 15 minutes. We'll start the car. We're going to rev it. We're going we're gonna to hard rev it for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes and then see how much actually comes out and uh we'll be back in like next 15 minutes all right guys so we got the vacuum line with the seafoam done we got the oil done and we got the gas tank now we're gonna uh, pretty much just turn it on and let it run for a little bit and go from there and make sure make sure it actually turns on So it does turn on, which is a good thing. All right, so try revving it. So what you're supposed to see is white smoke that comes out. Nope. Going, like rev it hard yeah there we go keep doing that now 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 it's coming out all right there we go a little bit yeah it's got to burn it yeah i don't know if you guys can see that but it's kind of hard since daylight <laughs> let's see Yeah. Really don't know if you guys can even see that, to be honest with you guys. Like, hold on, don't rev it right now. Like, you guys can see that it's like a little bit of white smoke. It's coming out. Like, it's hard to see because it's daylight. Yeah, it honestly might be pretty clean. <laughs> yeah, it could just be that clean. A lot of times when if it doesn't come out, it's usually because it's already clean. There's no carbon deposits that built, that built up. Which would be we, a great sign. Yeah, which would be a good sign because like we just did this just like we didn't know if the previous owner did it or not. Try. Keep revving it. Especially for Audi engineering. That would yeah, be for Audi cool. engineering, that would be phenomenal. So, did the seafoam, gas tank, oil tank, uh, as well as through the vacuum hose. We were a little skeptical at first. Everything was successful. We actually didn't get as much white smoke as we thought we were going to get. Um, just chalked that up to Audi's engineering team, I guess. Uh, but yeah, everything was successful and it actually seems to be running just a little bit smoother than it did before. Um, while we were actually running um, some of that stuff through the vacuum hose, we were kind of noticing that we may have a slight oil leak around um, the PCV valve, or the pressure control valve. So we're gonna actually take a look at that in the next couple weeks, kind of see, make sure nothing's going wrong with that. Um, we might just have a small oil oil leak, but we can always replace that uh, that sensor or valve. It's not a big deal. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. Thanks. So I choke you down.